Well, how's everyone doing this evening? I just got back from the train show in Plano, Texas, where I ran into a surprise guest, and you'll see him in just a minute. And I want to show you a little bit of the train show first, and then when we're done, we'll come back and take a look at some of the things I got. See you back after this. This is the opening hallway to the train show here in Plano. Lots of stuff just in the hallway. Well, let's go around the corner and see what we can see. Oh wow, look at that all the way down. Some good stuff here. And this is just the beginning of it. So oh, here's another hallway. Rooms off on each side. With all kinds of goodies in there. Let's see if we can find some other things. Well, if you look real close over there, you can see a guy in a flying crow shirt. It looks like it's John Dilly. It looks like he's buying something, too. I think we need to go over there and find out what he's buying. Excuse me, sir. What did you buy? <laughs> well, I have an affliction for cabooses, so I bought a couple cabooses and I got a gondola. Oh, more cabooses. Yes, more cabooses. Add to my collection. Probably getting up close to 50 of them now. We know who to come to if you want need a caboose. Enjoy it. Oh, here's another view of the main hall. A lot of layouts. Nice HO scale layout here. Maybe you should get on your back. On his back. Excellent vendors here. A lot, a lot of good stuff. A lot of good prices. S gauge layout here. One good thing about S gauge is you can find lots of cars, that's for sure. Alright, well, let's see. I'm gonna go see if I can find some more bargains. Alright, we're back. And I bet you recognize John Dilly, Grandpa Rails. So I had a good time with him today. And I met another YouTuber, uh, Sleeps with Trains, I believe is his screen name. His name's Mike. He was also at the train show in Plano. So it was good to see him as well. Uh, I've never met him in person, nor had I John before now. So it was good to finally meet John in person. We had a good time. And I'll show you now what I got. So, the first thing I got is some trees. And, um, pull this out of the little box here. This is a pecan tree from John Runnels at John's HO Trees, but he also makes in scale trees. And I'll put a link to his website in the description. Get it out without destroying it. There we go. So this is this is a pecan tree that he made. I think it's a nice looking tree. I think he does excellent, excellent work. And I hope y'all give him some business. Everybody around in this area knows about John Runnels and his trees, but uh, outside of outside of this area, you probably don't. I also had him make me, he had never done these before, and I had him make me some live oak trees. Now down south you see live oak, live oak trees quite often, and I had him make me some really big ones. So let's see if I can get them out without destroying them. So this is the first one, 
So live oak trees can get really big and they get old and scraggly looking and I think he did a fantastic job on this one. So this tree is pretty tall actually. Uh, it's hard to see that in the photographs but uh, when you get them in person it's it's big. In fact I'll compare it to the little pecan tree so you can see you can see the difference. Uh, real real big trunk and everything and that's how live oaks are. A lot of live oaks are real old trees. He had never made these before so at my request he actually started making them. Let's see if I can do that. And then here's the other one he made for me. He has them stuck in foam but the other one didn't come out with foam but here's the other one. So really nice and it's great having these trees because each one's individual and I just think he did a fantastic job on these trees for me all right the next thing I got a couple of well I got a package of couplers which I desperately needed because I was completely out And I still have probably a hundred cars I gotta put couplers on. And that's just enough for 50, so I'll be buying another pack soon. I got two more uh, two more box cars and they usually carry lumber or plywood, this this type of car. So I got two of them and they're both different road numbers from Louisville, New Albany, and Corridon. And so those are Atlas cars. Just two more cars I've got to change the couplers on to get rid of Atlas's plastic couplers. These are really nice cars. I've got uh, this is 5307 and then 5303. Yep, I thought they would go well at my plywood plant that I'm building and you'll see more of that on Wilmer's live stream on Tuesday. So the other thing I got was one of these Walther's uh, mainline flat cars. These are 60 foot flat cars and the reason I bought this, I'm going to take it out of the box here, it's a nice looking flat car but I only bought one because what I'm going to do is, if everything works out, is kit bash them. KCS had a similar flat group of pulpwood flat cars built for them in the 60s. And they were 60 foot flat cars as well. The difference is, with KCS, is the floor was smooth. And they had on each side, running the length of the car, they had some angle iron welded on. And that was to make the pulp wood sit at an angle. So instead of angling the deck, they actually just welded angle iron along the edge of the deck. Also, they wouldn't have had the pockets for the uh, stakes. So I'll probably uh, sand those off. And the other thing that's really different is the bulkhead. On KCS's car, the bulkheads were actually at the end of the car. So I'm going to try, it appears that these come off. So I'm going to try to pull them off and then mount them on the end of the car. Uh, but they, otherwise they look fairly similar to KCS's cars. So I'm, that's what I'm going to do with those. I don't know how it'll turn out. Uh, but we'll see. And if it works out that these uh, have, uh, you know, the right look, then I'll probably get a bunch more and have some KCS pulp with those. The other thing I got was tank car oil loading platforms. I originally thought I needed six. I need 16 of these. So I was going to have sent them to Joe, but I, I took pity on Joe Raider, and I'm not going to send them to him, uh, because I've got to build 16 of these, and the way I'm going to do it 
is the piping that runs underneath. I'm going to build that all, uh, put it put it on the uh, supports, and then put the platforms on top of each one. That way, because I'm building the length of pipe all at once, it's going to be fairly long, and there's no way Joe could ship those to me, or even I, I couldn't even pick them up and put them in the trunk of my car because it'd be it would be so long you know it's going to be about uh, right at six feet long so anyway i'll have to get busy working on these tank car oil loading platforms i've done a couple already so i i kind of know what now what i need to do and i can get in a groove and get them done fairly quickly because i'm going to do kind of assembly line process on them you know get all of the piping done and then the supports, then the platforms, do it like that. So, so I had to get 11 more of these. So anyway, that's what I got at the show today. Hope you enjoyed this little video, and we will see you next time. Take care.